Good morning, everybody. Crypto Strang here. Just going to go over my second favorite project. I've done two dedicated videos on Icon before. I absolutely love this project. Been around a long while. Been very patient again. A bit like Cardano in some respect, but Icon is now making huge waves. In fact, today it's actually one of the only projects actually in the green. We've had a bit of a dump over the last 24 hours. However, Icon, the South Korean blockchain company, have done are making huge progress. I've, I've said this a long time. It's hard to believe that Icon is not in the top 20 at least. It's still outside the top 50 even. It's absolutely incredible. You know, to sum up Icon, it's basically a cryptocurrency platform designed to connect various blockchains by allowing them to interact with each other via smart contracts. Um, any developer can basically define Icon as an attempt to build one global decentralized network that embrace all others. Um, last year, there was news that they teamed up and partnered with BAM Protocol, another project I really like. But last week, we heard they've now partnered with also, also partnered with Chainlink, which again is one of my favorites. The Chainlink's got so many partnerships now, it's impossible to keep up. But also, Icon is it's like unique features. It's not just common to other projects. Icon uses artificial intelligence for its distribution policies. It offers a decentralized exchange, which we'll show in a minute, by linking independent blockchain with its token ICX. And it delivers a platform for constructing new dApps, decentralized applications. Again, we'll show you the dApps shortly, but um, when you scroll down, you can see the market cap at the moment, 521 million. Um, it's actually all-time low, would you believe, was last January. It was only 10 cents last January, absolutely incredibly low price. But January 2018 was its highest ever price of $12.64. Now, me personally, you know, when you think where Icon was an ICO, it was basically just under 10 cents of the ICO, and that was October 2017. And by, I think it was literally end of January 2018, you know, a few months later, it was all-time high of $12.64 before it was actually any sort of use case. Similar to Cardano, that was launched October, which is all-time high within three months, and it was just then just a wallet. Icon has made huge developments, constantly developing for all the bear market, now with the bull market now, Icon is still striving to with all of its plans and roadmap, etc. So the fact it actually reached twelve dollars sixty four when it wasn't much and only been sort of around a couple of months just tells me that this year, who knows what the price of Icon will be. I personally believe with everything they've got going on, and we'll go through it in a minute, you'll see the many areas of Icon. Not many projects have so much going on so much different areas they're involved with and that's why i personally believe it will smash through the all-time high easy not exactly when i would all like to know that but i think it's absolutely incredible you think it's up what 734 percent since last january alone and as they keep developing as you get in the bull market who knows what the price will be surely it's going to smash through the all-time high again is it it's you know, all the adoption in asia still i say in south korea it's very very aggressive in south korea it's I spoke about it before in the previous videos where he's involved with the South Korean government, the local Seoul metropolitan government, because the Seoul South Korean government are very proactive with their blockchain. They've given out a lot of grants to blockchain companies to develop, and Icon is one of them has received the grant and has developed for the South Korean, and as I say, the local Seoul government. So it really is superb in South Korea and rest parts of Asia. Just needs more adoption worldwide, and who knows, the sky's the limit with Icon. You know, and you sort of look at the market, um, the total supply in the market is basically, it's not a lot really in crypto's beat and compared to many other projects similar, it's 800 million. The Circland supply at the moment is 584 million. So still quite a bit to get out there, but look at the volume in the last 24 hours, 224 million. So it's, it is known as sort of South Korea's blockchain, you know, South Korea's Ethereum, as you know, many projects get stated though, I know. But the fact is now teamed up with Chainlink as well. It's just another excellent step in their roadmap. Um, talk about roadmap. When you go on their site, um, it takes you to a link on Medium. And you can see their last month they bought out the latest roadmap. And it's you know they talked about their plans for 2021. You know, first and foremost is expected migration to the Icon 2.0, a new Go-based blockchain that will support interoperability and inherits the current Icon network. At launch, it will support cross-chain DeFi and offer scalability and stability improvements over the current version. In tandem, the Icon 2.0 migration, we also plan to submit a proposal to update the token economics of the Icon network. And it states there, we expect 2021 to be a big year for adoption and growth of the net. We saw many improvements in 2020. So, you know, when you think, when you think of a roadmap and their plan to keep developing, that's what you really want to see. You don't want to see a, a project where they've sort of ended their roadmap, they've sort of got a bit stagnant, they've sort of run out of ideas. This project is constantly developing with so many different areas. 
also states there, Vision 12 was released at Ilu Juiro and Pagadoza test nets on December 30th are set to release on the main net mid-January 2021, assuming no issues are found after testing period. This update is focused on increasing security and stay Stability of the Icon Network. New update includes the below features. It's got the burn address, the ICX balance verification logic, recovery mode, the bug fixes. And I think it's, this year, is again, it's a bit like Cardano, just love to see the price at the end of this year of Icon. I think it's huge. I remember this was literally oh, about seven, eight weeks ago, this news come out, that Icon, they're excited to announce that we'll be joining this, this South Korean payment policy payment gateway is based in South Korea and they basically they started as Paycoin service in April 2019 and by October 20 we, they had acquired more than 750,000 users, 60,000 merchants so notable merchants include international brands such as Domino's, KFC and this Paycoin team have teamed up with Icon you know and again that's just absolutely massive new mainstream adoption and it states that it's completion Icon users will be able to deposit, deposit their ICX into the Paycoin app Swap with Paycoin seamlessly, then use it as a payment in any of the Paycoin merchants. See, mainstream adoption. So, Paycoin obviously doing very well in South Korea. You think how many users, 750,000 users, you know, they all start using Icon as they develop in the rest of Asia. The sky's the limit, as they say. Go on the official website, icon.foundation. You can see all the different partners. I've touched on this before in the previous videos. It's a lot of partnerships, you know, they really are developing constantly. You scroll down, you can see all the companies they're involved with. Also, you can actually see the current price. As I say, we're, we're slowly approaching that $1. I think once it reaches the dollar, we go through me about staking them out now. Staked as well, it can only increase the price. Surely it's not financial advice. I always state that. I'm not saying you rush out and buy Icon, you do your own research. It's my humble opinion. I've held Icon now for a long time. In hindsight, yep, I would have sold the last ball run was $12, but I didn't. Who knew that was going to happen? Anyway, I've kept holding me Icon. I've accumulated more, especially last year. It was only ridiculously low, ten cents, uh, and now you know it's approaching one dollar. So you can see one ICX. You can see what the Bitcoin equivalent is there. It's a really good thing. You also see the historical price. You can see here. You can also see all the different exchanges it's on many exchanges. Um, also on Binance, OKX, UOB, LA Token, Bit, um, Bit True. So it's on some real good exchanges. You can do your own wallet downloads. Which I've done before on Icon X. You Google Chrome, download your own Icon wallet. Don't keep it on the exchanges. Entirely up to you. I'll put this link below. It's the Icon community. It's all the P Rep projects. I've got these sections down here, and it really gives an excellent overview and everything going on in the Icon world. You can see all the marketing side of it. You can see all the development. Look at all this development side of it. Absolutely incredible. You know, non-stop development of Icon. Um, the education side of it shows what, everything what's going on. It gives you ideas. It gives you like, you know, like vlog style YouTube videos. You know, it gives you Icon staking. It tells you what to do. It's got the infrastructure, the Icon Watch, Icon Wallet app. Um, the community, all the different communities they've got. And there was a dedicated site used all the time, Icon Dice Team. It seems to just... Stop updating it now, so don't go on that now. They used to be a really good independent site giving constant updates about Icon, but as I say, that's now stopped. But anyway, you've still got all this community, they're reg you know, they're always on Twitter giving updates anyway. The official Icon people, um, it just gives you a general overview of everything what's going on. Now, when you look at the dashboard, you know, social sentiment, social engagement, you look at their social volume, but you go there about again, we talked about the market cap. Um, Circulating supply, the total supply, the public treasury you've got, all the different wallets, circulation state. Look at how much that is state. Now that is a lot. Um, again, we talk about circulation and that, but when you have so much state, less on the exchanges, less for people to buy, hence the price increases, constantly developing. So again, that's massive. I'll put these links below. It's just an excellent insight into Icon. I tend to use this all the time now, just give a general overview. I say it's my second biggest project, as I say. It's been my second biggest for a long time by market value, although Chainlink is getting very close to my market, you know, the amount of price Chainlink's gone up with its record high. But I, I say, personally, sooner or later, I believe Icon will smash through its all-time high, and that's why I'm still very, very bullish on Icon. You go on the DAPs, Icon's got talent winners, you see, Logistics, Icon Delta, you see all this, you know, Icon Bet, we'll talk about that in a minute, you know, they've got official DAP partners, and you can just see all the different companies using their DAPs, Zen Sports, it, you know, We Block, Blue Wow, Discover More DAPs, see, excellent being built on the Icon blockchain, absolutely incredible. Talk about Icon Bet, 
there you go, it's got their own, again, this is another side part of Icon, many different areas to it. The fact they've got their own gaming site now, Casino, which is purely for Icon, states there over 6.1 million I said distributor holders, you get some more wards in Icon. Um, it's just incredible. And you scroll down there, all the different DAO Blackjack, DAO Lottery, DAO Levels. And it's just a lot to it, you know. And it's something, just another part of it, as I say. Um, one thing I sort of touched about before was My Idea Alliance, which is part of the Icon loop. And it's been making good, great progress in 2020. Um, Basically, it's blockchain identification service. Um, it was actually launched in November 2019. And at the time, it attracted over like 39 partners and they're continuously growing. And that was including like the manufacturing industry, the finance, the e-commerce, the security, amongst others. And the partners will use MyID to incorporate trusted decentralized ID into their ecosystems. And Icon Loop has three primary mission targets it hopes to achieve together with MyID partners. Business focus to facilitate business, obviously, expansion through trust and financial sector authentication, use a focus to solve inconvenient stuff by users and develop use cases, globalization focus, and this is all part of the icon loop we've created My Idea Alliance. You see there, 2021, first and second quarter, reached 1 million users, the first commercialized service based on MyID. Establishing the second proof of case, cases in Korea. Finalizing, hosting the third workshop with partners. Third and fourth quarter, launching the second commercialized service based on ID. So it, my ID just looks so bright. Again, just another side of Icon. I think it looks absolutely great for the future. And it, obviously Icon Loop wants more and more firms to jump on board with the future. You know, the blockchain startup, you know, it hasn't been going that long when you think about, what, 14 months, 15 months? And they estimate they'll have 250 partners by next year. And it hopes that, you know, my ID will attract significant companies, you know, the big ones in Asia, like your Samsung, etc. And it's, you know, it doesn't seem too much of a far fetched scenario, really. We think how advanced they are, jump ahead of the game. And it's, you, I can imagine major companies would like a slice of the pie who'd want that part of the my ID and the blockchain, make it easy for their business. Um, so there's a lot going on to it, as I say. You've just got to look at Icon as an overview, not just the token, the crypto, the ICX, but everything that's going on within the Icon ecosystem, should we say, of all their future developments. Icon, you know, just said about Icon Bet there. You know, it's a huge absolute development. It really is, you know. And the fact it's now integrated with Chainlink, it's approach, Icon's approach to interoperability, and it's been a recurrent subject in the blockchain community. Obviously, there are many blockchain projects out there and existing in a fragmented state would present other issues, and that's what Icon wants to address. It wants to address all the issues. So you think we also can also do mobile staking now with Icon. Um, so I say to sum up Icon, just a quick summary. Um, you think of Icon's roadmap developments as well as the Icon Loop, the My ID, the Icon Bet, the DApps. How much is staked? It, Icon Loop is slowly carving name for itself as one of the most influential blockchain startup thanks to its world class solutions. And soon enough, its popularity will be global. I'm sure that. I'm sure it'll be beyond South Korea, rest of Asia, and beyond. And who knows? The icon price, when you go back to it on coin market cap at a certain moment, just over 88 cents. Still incredibly, it was only 10 cents this time last year, anyway. It says up 7.5% in the last 24 hours alone. So, again, entirely up to you. If you don't want to get to keep on your radar, monitor it. Me personally, I just love stocking up on Icon. I'm always trying to get a little bit here, constant. It needs to get on some other exchanges. If you imagine it was on Coinbase, um, Bittrex, some other big exchanges as well. It's on some decent ones now, but that'd increase it even more. And I say with the amount state and the less available, the price will just go up even more. But as it develops, I think it has huge potential. I've seen some price predictions which are actually crazy, you know. Easy hundred dollars I saw somewhere. Well, that's not beyond all the realms of possibility, but I'll just be happy when it smashes through the all-time high first. You know, let's get there first before we start thinking about hundred dollars. But keep Icon on your radar. I think it's a wonderful project. It's been my number two, as I say, for a long time. I just think it's an absolutely wonderful project, the whole part of it. Anyway, thanks very much. Anyone want any help, email me, info at cryptostrang.com. Social media links below. Help any way I can. Thanks very much. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye.